Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today's lesson is about verbs and prepositions. We can combine certain verbs with certain prepositions to make a phrase or sentence. Example. The soap smells of strawberries. The soap smells of strawberries. So smells is the verb and the preposition is of. And after the preposition, we put a noun phrase. So this is the noun phrase. So verb with a preposition. Unfortunately, there are no rules for this, for these combinations. There are no rules. You must study and learn the possible combinations of verbs and prepositions. So, in this lesson, you will learn the verbs that we use with the prepositions for, from, and in. Okay, so let's start with for. We use the following verbs before the preposition for. Apologize, ask, pay, prepare, wait, and work. Of course, there are others, there are many others, but these are some of the most common ones. So let's start here. So we say, apologize for something. And this means to say sorry for something. And be careful, the American spelling has a letter Z at the end. Okay, so we call this a letter Z. And the Americans call this a letter Z. Okay, so if you see th this spelling, then you know it is American. Example. David apologized for breaking the window. Apologized for breaking the window. And notice the noun phrase after the preposition for, we have the ing form of a verb. So this is a gerund, breaking. Okay, another example is Mark apologized for being late. Okay, so Mark was late and so he said sorry. Okay, apologize for something. We also have ask and the form is ask someone for something. A very common example in a cafe or restaurant. I asked the waiter for a coffee. I asked the waiter for a coffee. So I asked someone for something. Another example, a very common example, when you're a tourist and you're lost, I asked the police officer for directions, for directions. So after for, this is what we are asking. And this is the person to whom we're asking. Okay? Pay for something, very common. And it means to give money for something that you want to buy. Common example, I paid for the TV. So I paid for the television. And paid, P-A-I-D, this is the past simple form of pay. So this is what we're buying. We can also use this form, pay for someone. Now this doesn't mean that we're buying a person. No, it means that we are giving money on behalf of someone else. So let me give you an example. Jane says, let's go to the cinema. But Mark replies, I don't have any money. So Jane says, I'll pay for you. I'll pay for you. So this means that Jane will, um, will buy the cinema ticket um, for Mark. Okay, so I'll pay for someone. Prepare for something. Prepare for something. So it means to get ready for something. Claire is preparing for the job interview. Claire is preparing for the job interview. 
And here is a, another very common example. Mark is preparing for his holiday. Okay, so he's getting ready for his holiday. We can see he has packed his suitcase and he has prepared his passport. Okay, prepare for something. Wait for something or someone. So I'm sure you all know what wait means. Well, we use the preposition for after it. Common example, she's waiting for a bus, waiting for a bus. We can also say she's waiting for a train, okay, or a tram. Another example, Jane says, hurry up, I'm waiting for you. Mark says, okay, I'm on my way. So here, Jane says, I'm waiting for you. So waiting for somebody. This is a very good expression, I'm on my way. This means, okay, I have started my journey. I am, I am walking. I am, I am starting, yes, I'm starting to go to the destination. I'm on my way. To work for a company or employer. So when we say work for, we are describing um, our employer the company that employs us. So a very common question that you ask someone, who do you work for? And Claire replies, I work for British Airways. I work for British Airways. So British Airways is um, Claire's employer, employer. Okay. But what if someone is not an employee? What if someone does not work for a company? Well, here is another example. David asks, who do you work for? And Mark replies, I work for myself. I work for myself. So this means that Mark um, has his own company. Mark is self-employed, self-employed. Okay, so this means that Mark has started his own company. Okay, he's the boss. Okay, he works for himself. So myself, this is um, a reflexive pronoun. So we have words like myself, yourself, himself, herself, etc. And I have a separate video about reflexive pronouns. The link is on the screen now. The preposition from. We use the following verbs before the preposition from. Borrow, hide, prevent, protect, recover, suffer. Okay, so let's start. So borrow something from someone. So here is an example. So Mark is borrowing a pen from Claire. Mark is borrowing a pen from Claire. So to borrow, it means to take an object um, for a short period of time from someone and then you give it to them back. Okay, so that later Mark will return the pen to Claire. Okay, but we say, so we say borrow something from someone. I borrowed 70 euros from John. Okay, and tomorrow I will pay him back. We also say hide from someone. Okay, so we hide from someone when we don't want someone to find us. Okay, someone is searching for us, but we don't want them to find us. So we hide from the person. Okay, a common example here. He is hiding from the police. The cats are hiding from the dog. Okay, hide from someone or something. Okay, hide from the animals. Prevent someone from doing something. Okay, so this is the form. And prevent means to stop someone from doing something. Okay. She is preventing people 
from entering the building. Okay, so she is preventing people from entering the building. And here, after from, we have the ing form of a verb. Okay, so this is in fact a gerund again, another gerund. So it's a verb acting like a noun. Okay, because we always have a noun phrase after a preposition. So this means she's stopping people from entering the building. Here's another example. Her broken leg prevents her from driving. Prevents her from driving. So she has a broken leg and unfortunately um, the broken leg stops her from driving. So she cannot drive with a broken leg. Protect something or someone from something or someone. The umbrella is protecting her from the rain. Protecting her from the rain. Okay, so I'm sure you can understand the meaning of protect here. Okay. Another example. His hat protects him from the cold. So protects someone from something, the cold. Here, um, usually, normally, cold is an adjective, but here it is, in fact, a noun. And we put the definite article before it. So the cold is a noun, in fact, it's a noun phrase, from the cold. So it means the cold weather. Okay. We say that you suffer from an illness. So she is suffering from a cold. She's suffering from a cold. So it means she has a cold, basically. She has a cold. And unfortunately, she suffers from allergies. From allergies. And this particular allergy in English is called hay fever hay fever, H-A-Y, and then fever is F-E-V-E-R. So it means an allergy to pollen. Okay, so she suffers from allergies. And then after an illness, we usually recover from an illness. So when we are feeling better, okay, when we no are no longer ill, then we say that we recover from an illness or an accident, or a bad situation. Okay, so here we have an example. She is recovering from a broken leg. Okay, so this means she is getting better from a broken leg. So she has a broken leg and she's in the process of recovering. Okay, she's resting. She's starting to feel stronger. Okay. He has fully recovered from his injury. He has fully recovered from his injury. So here we have the present perfect. Has recovered. And fully means completely. 100%. So this means that he is no longer injured. Okay. He's completely fine and fit. Okay, so he has completely recovered from his injury. The preposition in. And we use the following verbs. Believe, specialize, confide, and participate. And again, of course, there are others, but these are some very important ones. So we believe in someone or something. And it means to be certain that someone or something exists. So she, be she believes in God. Okay, so she's praying and she believes in God. And he believes in aliens. <laughs> okay, so a very different belief. But he believes in aliens. Okay, so he believes that aliens exist. Specialize in something. 
Okay, so this means to be an expert in something, to concentrate only on one specific activity. And if you specialize in something, yes, you are very good at it. You are an expert. And again, be careful. Um, the American spelling has a letter Z in the middle at the end. So a, a very common example, the lawyer specializes in personal injury cases. Okay, and uh, we could have another example. Another lawyer specializes in divorce cases. Okay, so specialize in something. The restaurant specializes in sushi. Okay, so the restaurant specializes in a particular type of food. In this case, it's sushi. Okay. Confide in someone. Confide in someone. So this means to tell secrets to someone because you trust them. Okay, so it's a very often we confide in a very, very close friend or we confide in um, a member of the family that we trust. So Jane often confides in her grandmother. Jane often confides in her grandmother. So Jane often talks to her grandmother and tells her secrets and often asks her grandmother maybe for advice as well. Okay. Participate in an activity. So this means simply to take part in an activity, to do an activity and to be very active during that activity. Okay. So a common example, Mark participated in the meeting. Okay. So this means that Mark was present at the meeting and he was active, you know, he spoke, he gave his opinion, he listened. And a very common example, particularly at the moment with all of the political unrest, they are participating in a protest. So this activity is called a protest and they are participating in a protest. Okay, so they are present at the protest and they are very active there. They are shouting and they are showing signs. Okay. So that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then click the bell. And here are some other videos that I recommend.